three, uh -oh. two, one. <laughs> that was the biggest one yet. We need to get out of here. Well, 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 welcome back to Radio Week Fishing. I'm Neil. Before I start, if I will ask you to do me a favour, hit the like button and subscribe. I see a lot of you watching the video. If you're not always subscribed, it's absolutely free and it helps the channel out. Right, today, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, it's three o'clock. It's very cloudy. It's raining. It's windy. So we must be going out on the boat. Absolutely. We're heading down to the boat. We're going to be going out with Damien and Dan. So we're going to be going on Dan's Cygnus. It is a 21 foot Cygnus Lister engine and it's called Cheeky Monkey. We're going to be doing some pots today. We'll be having a look at um, Damien's pots and Dan's depending on how the weather goes. It's going to be choppy out there. Um, I'm going to put the wind slayer on and hopefully minimise wind. I will give you the show of everything uh, when we get down there, the boat, the dinghy, um, the running gear and you can uh, hopefully pick up what goes on. It's a day in the life of a commercial fisherman and hopefully you can enjoy it as much as I will. So sit back, relax and we'll see you down the boat. So I'm down here a little bit earlier than Dan, but that's the dinghy we're going to be going out in uh, to get to his main boat, which is just here, GU40, cheeky monkey, but I'm going to give you a quick show of the weather we're going to be going out in today. Now, hopefully, you'll see more when we're out there, obviously, but whether or not you can pick it up, but just outside the pier heads here, it's pure white horses. It is going to be interesting to say the least so i'm gonna head back to the car i'm gonna get my gear on the boots the skins and a coat because you need to be prepared and the rest of the equipment's going to be on the uh on the boat so all i'm doing is waiting for dan well, there's dan and his pickup and damien here comes dan it's the skipper he's loving it Right, so we're going with the guy cotton boots again today. We are going to go with some Elka, not the guy cotton, but the Elka uh, brace. There's a Bailiwick fishing hoodie there. I've got one on, and somewhere there's a Bailiwick fishing hat like that. So I'm going to look for that. It's going to be essential today. And Dan will be doing these evil Knievel stunts for all the mooring ropes, and then we'll be getting aboard. With me today, I've got about eight batteries, I've got my phone. Uh, I've got a Baderick Fishing soft shell jacket, so that's a soft shell jacket, sorry. If you do want one of these, you can ask me for one to get you one, but they're blooming expensive. So uh, if you want a jumper, that would be a better option. Direct message me if you do that. Dan's got some bait here. How's it been in the freezer? There's nothing in the freezer in this barrel for about two years. In that barrel for about two years. Look at the juice there. That does not need to get tipped. <laughs> Damien's arrived. He's just uh, getting himself dressed. <laughs> Putting some clothes on, I think. Anyway, for those of you that are not from here, this is uh, Guernsey, I've showed you before. Town church is just here. The main town roundabout is just there where that mast is. It's like a ship's mast. And this is the main seafront along here. Uh, a lot of shops and coffee shops and restaurants and all that sort of stuff. Just there is obviously town church, but just next to it, whether or not you'll pick it up, is a white building called the Albion, which is a pub. And I believe that is the closest pub to a church in the world. Um, you can Google it if, you, uh, if you're interested, but I'm pretty sure. Bus terminus is down there, and then there's like a key that goes all the way down there. Fisherman's, commercial fisherman's key is down there. Dan's obviously commercial, but he's got his other boat down there. Uh, and the other one is we're going on today is in the pool.
It's just tracking the fuel. Now, just to keep everyone happy, because I saw there was a few comments in the last video, you will see I've got a life jacket on today. It's here, it's on me. I just need to give Dan a hand with this. There we go. So anyway, it's on. It's a, uh, one of those automatic ones, so there's no pull toggle. As soon as it hits water, it goes off. So it's not great using uh, life jackets when you're pulling pots because when you're pulling them towards you and they're wet, it can trigger it to go off. But it's on and that's the main thing. We're just about to untie the ropes. We're just getting all the bait on board from the uh, things. We're gonna roll out the uh, Dan's special rubber mat. <laughs> and then, uh, the engine's fired up, Damien's switching on all the electrics, and we'll be uh, heading out into the wild seas. Now Damien's just putting his coordinates in for where his pots are, I can't show you too much of this. Put my hand there, look. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, top secrets. Captain's top secrets, but that's what he's doing. Um, and then here is just the current depth, which is 9.5. Four feet. Well, nine point, how many feet? Four, five, six, <laughs> all sorts. Yeah, so it's fluctuating. Anyway, Dan's having a quick fiddle with the engine. <laughs> wow, here we go. So the biggest scallop trawler in Guernsey is just there, just coming back in and there's another commercial boy coming in and there's another one behind that um, and we're going out <laughs> <laughs> so there they go they're all coming in and we're heading out hey oh look there's another guy out with the commercials you can see the battering we're getting either side both sides all over surfing the waves it's hitting us from behind so like that <laughs> and coming from the south which is hitting us that side we're heading north so it smashed straight us up the stern and on the side as well but it's all good fun oh <laughs> well that was probably the worst bit hopefully I don't know mate <laughs> as a good Damien had a good wet, wet full uh, cap wheel ass in a second it shot through the window where he's looking out of and was straight in there <clears throat> oh, that's the big winch there you'll see an action in a second on the top of this boat we've got a light bar on the front knife raft some rod holders the radar at the top the um the gaff for getting the uh the ropes there's a spare pot on the side net hauler or line hauler and <laughs> that was a big roll. <laughs> we're trying to, uh, anyway. We're trying to get up the deck. Yeah. We're all good, we're all good. I hope you're enjoying the trip. For any of you that uh, get seasick, I suggest you take your tablets right now before the video continues. <laughs> I'm perfect, we're all perfectly fine. We're all used to this sort of weather. What do you reckon about the weather, Dan? Are you happy with it? Yeah. You'd be happier to see some lobsters come out your pots, eh? <laughs> Everything's on the floor. <laughs> right dan's got the uh dan's got the the hook ready i'm hanging on around our uh a pillar <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> right there's the first pot uh, the first bath this is damien's gear the so damien's pot sees and this is the first string of how many again 12 in this string. Conditions like this, you've got to make sure you're holding on. Now, because we stopped, you see here, it's a little bit better. Uh, now we've stopped uh, motoring. We're literally just, we've got the first one. Dan's about to start the winch up. Da Damien's doing the housework. <laughs> Good house uh, we're all getting our skins on now now the winch has run off the boat engine so basically you disengage the uh the dry shaft 
or the shaft and then you engage it onto the into the winch gear and then it's done up by uh by that <laughs> First pot of board, what have we got? Some brown crabs. First keeper, but he's a one hooker. But oh, here it is. Parlour pots these are. A spider crab and that one. So yeah, they're all parlour pots. I think they're must they Mustang pots these. There you go, Mustang 24s, inch. These are parlors because they got at the neck here and they actually got a parlor in, so they go in through there and then they can't get out. Creel pots, I'll show you them after. I've got the side entrances. They make it a lot easier if they're upside down, they're still fish. Whereas these have just got their uh, the neck on the top. What's there, a jam up? Yeah. Two lobsters in here, but they're going to be size. One of them looks to be, I'd say, oh, just one hooker there, and the other one, well intact but too small. Yeah, yeah. We have a swimming crab there. So the idea of this rubber mat on the floor here, so the pots slide out nicely when they're going out the back, and it also protects his bot, these deck of his boat. See, look how quick he's working. He's got the uh, dogfish ready to stick in that pot. And he's emptying it out, all the small stuff, spiders, velvets, all coming out, I think. Yeah, all baited, ready to go, it's just as quick as that. Got the lobster there. Pretty sure it's on the side. We'll gauge that in a second. We'll just get this string uh, on the boat. We'll gauge them after. We'll release them. Two more pots for this string. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to run down by the reef. There you go, so Dan's chucked the, the bobber out there. First part will be going over the, the uh, stern of the boat in a second. Once it uh, takes up the slack, the strop will. Uh, Yanging it out. Just watch it there, down look. See him holding it there around that uh, around that pole there. He's, ready, ready, let me know. He wants to get it. Damien's just steaming up to the position he wants, and then Dan will let the let the rope go. The first part will go out, and then the string will be nicely set on the seabed next to the reef hopefully. There you go, you're getting a point of view like being the captain. You're seeing through what we can see, it's not much. Up from some, we're going up Yay! and we're going down. <laughs> How's the pots going? Yeah, four left. These top two are going to be going, or five left. Yeah. <laughs> String, first pot was up. <laughs> Challenging here, guys. Then you can appreciate it. Um, wasn't much in that first pot. The next pot, there's a spider crab, a few brown crabs. There was a couple of uh, there's like a couple of softies in there. That one there is all right, but the other one's at the top. There we go. That one's baited onto the third one. 
just shows when you watch the guys working here and you can hopefully you can appreciate of the weathers they go out in to get restaurants and whoever uh you know crab and fish like this it's it is conditions like this it's not always a sunny day and an easy job there's another lobster it is part and parcel right in front of us there's some waves coming here hold on boys hold on Staying with us for bait, there's a nice crab in here. Oh, oh look at that. You take some weight, that one. Some weight, yeah, nice. You can see we're accumulating a few pounds, he's having a fight in already by the sound of it. Next pot's up, Dan's flying for him. Watch these waves here, boys. Again, these are the Mustang pots, 24 inch. That looks to me like Richard Keane out there, so uh, he does the local diving boat. They'll be out diving for scallops, I would have said. You can see that one was soft because it was really white, just changed its shell. And that one, look, and that one, look at that. Glowing. The lantern. Waves here, boys. Spoiler crabs, they'll be in in a month's time. Some of them are already in. It's because of the warmer water temperatures and our world's a bit uh, messed up. <laughs> I love spider crabs. They got a very sweet taste. I actually prefer them to shankers or brown crabs, brown edible crabs. string <clears throat> very difficult trying to oh it's got it well done there Dan they pinch your finger <laughs> Dan got pinched by one of those brown crabs it's not what you want <laughs> I had to edit oh I had to uh, edit that some waves over the front come on more brown nice brown crab there look nice lobster just come up lovely look at the size of him That's a lovely lobster. Beauty. Nice claws, all intact, no berries. Just what we want. Lovely crab, but is it soft or is it hard? She's hard. She's hard, that's a lovely crab. That's a beauty. Biggest one of the day, I'd say. If you're going back on the size. massive pile of rope there's a lot of rope see it all getting displayed out Damien's got it on full revs and brake slide doing is he's writing down his position of where he's put the uh, the GPS position of where he's put the pots so next time we can uh, find them and also if they're ever the buffs or the, the bobbers get cut for any reason or lost you can send the divers down to that spot and retrieve them hopefully so oh, it's a nice reef. yeah as he's just pointed out the nice bit of reef on here 
this there, so he'd be uh, putting the pots down the side of that. Or spray at the window. Right, on to the next one. Right, this is, is this the last of Damien's gear, eh? Yeah. The last of Damien's gear. So, uh, see what he can get on his last set. Baby lobster in there. Captain's having a sit down. <laughs> Praying for more lobsters. There you go. It's going to gauge that. When it, so uh, we'll uh, give him a measure afterwards. That's the first pot off, second pot's on its way. There's the clipper in the background, all the goodwill, which is the freight. Uh, look at this one. Yeah, look at this one. The freight um, ferry, just over there. Come on. Second pot. Yeah, Lobster. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Two pots, two lobsters, maybe. Yeah, that's a nice one. Happy with that. It's got a smaller claw on there, so it's obviously lost it at some point. It's regrown, and there's a couple of small, uh, small crabs in there, ready to go back until they're bigger. Right, is it going to be three out of three? It would never be three out of three. No. Damn it. So we went to go to these ones here and we started to winch. We could see the uh, the depth was going, the depth gauge on the thing was getting less and less and less. So we threw it back over the side and got out quick because there was, you could see the rock out, just coming out of the water. Oh, I got wet then. Um, so we've abandoned that. And now we're going off to, uh, we're going off to a set of, set of 10 but we're going right into the wind again now heading back south oh soaked we're like a yacht we're all over the shop other than the yacht the angle should have brought some shampoo i could have washed my hair at the same time <laughs> dan's on the uh dan's on the uh the wheel at the moment he's picking our way through these reefs is that it over the bow there I just saw? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the last string of the day, yeah? Yeah, pretty sure it's it. Oh! <laughs> right. Can we engage the winch? the winch engage the boys are going to be straight out now I'm going to stay in here for a sec oh, baby big fishing soft shell jacket keeping me uh, dry thirty six foot of water here So I'm just looking through at the screens here, I can see 17 foot of water, 14 foot of water. It's getting shallow. 15 foot. Boys are still busy though. And Dan's got a lobster at last. Bit small, so it's going back. <laughs> Come on, gotta get a keeper for you. You stack like leg over lock, absolutely perfect. Yeah, there's the rocks just there, look. I'm just under that. And under us now, I'd say. What depth are we at? 18 foot. Lobster, there you go. Hopefully this one's a keeper. Dan's got a keeper, there you go. Lovely lobster. And another one. So this first first uh, few pots of the string didn't start very well for him, but they've certainly picked up now. Another keeper lobster in there. Right, well, 
You know the one I just said we're going to give up with because there's not enough water? We're back again. And we need to be really, really careful here. Um, Dan's watching. We're going to try and pull it again. We want to get these pots because at the moment um, there's good money in the uh, in the uh, shellfish, the lobsters. So we want to see if we can get it while the uh, rates are good. So we've got the first end of it. The other end's over there and the rock's in the middle just down here. So we shall see. Boys are concentrating. I'm going to stand right back. I'm going to keep an eye out as well. Not quite like we do in the super dinghy, how close we get to the rocks, but on a boat like this, this is, is more than enough. if the tide's the same. You see me and Damien are standing here with our feet out of the way. You don't want to get your foot tangled in that. Otherwise, whoop, you'd be gone. Dan's just trimming the seaweed with his propeller on the top of the rock like a haircut. going back home I hope you've enjoyed that uh, well a bit, of a bit of a mission there at the end but I uh, hope you've enjoyed the uh, part of today it's certainly been a challenge with the rough seas I mean it does make you appreciate how uh, fishermen would work not just in the sunshine and the nice weathers it's not all smiles and sunshine and all the rest of it you have got to uh, deal with these weather conditions Look what's in front of us, we've got to get through that and we're heading home so uh, I'm going to sit back in the uh, wheelhouse, enjoy the ride in, I'm going to stay safe, we'll see you back ashore. Hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed this, we'll see you back when we're on land. Uh oh. There you go then, it's the final uh, picture and the video of the catch for today. Some lovely shankers, some nice lobsters there, and some nice lobsters in there. We've just tied up in the mooring, just starting to get dark. Now's the time for me to say thanks for watching, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you check out the Facebook page and the Instagram channel. Hope you've enjoyed this video, it's certainly been an interesting one. I'm going to get back in the dinghy get back in the car go home and get dry and have some tea so we'll see you next time it's a big fishing that was the biggest one yet we need to get out of here